What's the crack lads? We're back with another What's Coming Thursday video in which we try and predict what player of the week players are going to be coming and what boosters are going to be coming. So every Thursday, obviously new player of the weeks come. It's a very handy way for newcomers or even for people that have been playing the game for a while to get unique cards with boosters. And I do feel like the player of the weeks are a little better now. They're still not where they need to be. And the fact that you have to spend coins to get them, you can't grind. That's a whole other story. But every Wednesday, right, which is today, about an hour ago, Konami put up this uh, tweet. They always put it up on their official eFootball, and we'll also have, have it up on our Twitter or in a Discord as well. It, they give a little tease at what's coming. So you've got a whole player European Club Championship. We're going to get two Player of the Week selections here. We're going to focus on the worldwide ones here with uh, Modric, who we think is going to be coming. Friend of the channel, Arrow, has got us with these graphics again where they predict it. And obviously, everybody that wants to kind of figure out which is going to be coming and stuff like that, it's just a bit of fun man, it's a small bit of hype, I think Kevin De Bruyne will come, maybe Pedri will come, Minamino will come from Monaco, and probably Luka Modric as well, who returned to Madrid the weekend, now I would definitely think lads, honestly, I mean Haaland has to get a beastly card eventually, doesn't he, I mean he's, he's super sub, um, is really like a really good card, obviously him, him as a super sub, I also think Dybala could come, and Rafinha, all partner clubs of eFootball 2024, but genuinely, lads, Haaland has to get a good card with decent balance. I mean, he's scoring five goals in the FA Cup. I mean, he has to get one. Also, Bowen from West Ham. I think he scored a hat-trick the weekend as well. So I do feel that he will come. Even though there's going to be a double pack here, I do feel like that this is going to be more of like the player of the weeks, the standard player of the week. So we're going to have double the player of the weeks. So it'll be interesting to see where we get the free spin, whether it will be the European one, usually it is, or the standard one. I also think the Bala and Latara Martinez, they're scoring goals for fun as well. I think Martinez broke some sort of record in the Serie A as well. I think he was like one of the one of the top players or first player to uh, quickest player to get a hundred goals or something like that before he's like twenty eight or twenty nine. I read a stat somewhere. I think that we will obviously get a booster or two with these guys. But I do think that it will probably be Haaland that gets the booster, Modric that gets the booster, and the Bruyne. Maybe they won't have the Bruyne and Haaland in unless they're in double packs, you know, the separate pack. Rafinha and Alba. Alba scored again the weekend. I think he scored two goals in his last match for Marseille. And Rafinha was beasting as well for Barcelona. So, yeah, there is one or two players missing from this, such as Luke de, Luke de Jong. He had a player of the week very recently as well. And Pedri would be a strange choice, but... These two, I think, will have be in with a shout. Of course, we have our customary goalkeeper as well, Trubin for Benfica. He kept another clean sheet. And then we have Kamara from Brest. So this guy plays in League One, and he has never had a Player of the Week card. And he scored a hat-trick again the weekend, or this is his first hat-trick in a while. Um, he was beasting, obviously, in League One, where Brest are having a fantastic season. So I would like to see him rewarded in-game, especially when they have the licenses and stuff. Rafa Silva, it's a crime that Rafa Silva has never actually got a Player of the Week card. He's an unbelievable player. He's beasting again over in the Liga Porto. Portuguese or the Portuguese league I don't think it's called that anymore is it Liga Portuguesa yeah maybe correct me if I'm wrong but yeah he's um he is basically a beast of a player can play anywhere and Modric of course as we looked so this is what we're thinking with the cards that will come for the standard player of the week booster to Dybala Modric and Haaland obviously Modric will have that super sub as well and the rest of the players now listen lads we're not going to have a hundred percent hit ratio with this but I think that if we got maybe seven out of ten right or seven or eight out of eleven and then obviously the other player of the week as well that's going to be a European selection so yeah, I mean, there's a couple of interesting choices in there as to what players will come in, obviously, from the European uh, matches as well from last week and stuff. So let me know what you guys think. We also, in my opinion, I think we're also going to get back Team Play Fun, the co-op event. Um, that has to come back. I know that they're probably trying to rework it to make it a little bit more fun and grindable I think um I would like to see the rewards done up um but we will talk about that in the live stream but let me know what players you guys would want let me know what else you want on Thursday and let me know if you disagree with any the with any of these or agree with any of these don't forget to subscribe I'll be back soon talk to you then